What is up, YouTube? Kaiba Cube here with another great YouTube video. So today in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to solve a void cube. Uh, the void cube is a really fun puzzle to solve because it's weird and it's mesmerizing to think how it can turn and your fingers like inside of it. Um, so the only thing bad about this puzzle is there's no corner cutting like, at all, either way. Like, I'm trying my hardest and it just won't go. So that's the only downside to this and the color scheme's weird because it's red and yellow and orange and blue and pink and... It, it's, it takes a little while to get used to, but I adapted pretty quickly. Um, you solve the first part of it the same way you do it with the 3x3 three three, uh, until you get to parity on the last layer, which is what we're going to be getting to. So I'm going to scramble this up, and we're going to get right into that. So now that I have the void cube scramble, we're going to look inside which side is the best one we solve. So I see that actually this is a really bad scramble, So because I, I see these two are orange and pink, these two are blue and green. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them up there. I'm not even sure if they're in the right spot, but I know a secret I can check with is if I take a, one of these corners and put it in, and so these two pieces are right, and then basically I saw the rest of the corners. And yeah, so I can already tell you that this entire thing is going to be right. So I'm going to take the rest of the corners and I'm going to put them in there. Um, this cube turns awful. <laughs> Uh, I know I said that beforehand, but I thought I'd just restate it. Um, it's not the best puzzle to solve. Like, I'm not even sure I'd recommend buying this to anyone. I mean, it just kind of turns back. But on the other hand, it is a cool and a little bit trippy puzzle. Get your mind around. So, basically, you just want to solve it the same way you would a 3x3 until the last layer. So, I'm just going to quickly solve this. As you can see, this is not turning very well. Uh, so that's that. And then let's do our OLL. What is nice that you can see what you're gonna do before you do it, where unlike your speed solving. Well, you can't really tell what you're gonna do because you're trying to go fast and you're... Well, that's where look ahead comes in. So let's see if we got parity, and we did not, so. I'm going to show you guys what parity looks like in a second, but you can get lucky and solve not so, not get parity. You can't solve parity if you don't get it. So that was a lucky solve, so I'm going to show you what parity is now. So this is what parity normally looks like. Uh, we have this piece and this piece, and they're slip, switched. Sometimes you'll get it where these two pieces here are switched, the, these two, and that's pretty... I, am, I don't get that very often, but you can still use this algorithm and then just do a U perm. Uh, so the algorithm is M U M U M U prime M U prime M U two M U M and well, I got, a, I got a U perm, so we'll just finish this off. But yeah, it's a short, sweet little algorithm. And well, that's all I got to say about the voice cube. Again, uh, I'll do it again. Do it twice more. M, U, M, U, M, U prime, M, U prime, M, U two, M, U, M. And then you'll have the parity, and then you can undo the parity by M, U, M, U, M, U prime, M, U prime, M, U, two, M, U, M. And again, I have a U perm, so I'm just gonna quickly do that U perm. And there you have it. Wow, that actually took a lot of strength to do that. So that's, um, Void Q Parity. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's Void Q Parity. Hey there, YouTube. I'm Kyber here, and I hope you guys like my Void Q tutorial. It's a really fun tutorial to make. Now, the Void Q actually is really cool, because it's, it's actually on my shelf, and only the cubes that I like are on my shelf. So the bottom shelf here 
is for my non WCA puzzles or non regulation puzzles or puzzles I enjoy solving but you know they're not my mains my mains here are always up here and this is my main shelf and then up here is my uh, Rubik's Cube my original Rubik's Cube that I first got now you may have noticed my 2x2 two two is right here on the bottom shelf well you see I was doing something with the 2x2 two two earlier and well, this happened. I just did that. I fixed it. Need a lot. I'll fix it later. So that's why it's on the bottom shelf. So until I get a new two by two, that cube is staying down there. It's really unfortunate that it popped again. So I have to fix that again. I'll do that when you guys aren't watching. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, there's a button for that. Yeah, you see, you scroll down a little bit, and you click the thumb up icon. And when you click that thumb up icon, it tells me you like it. There's, there's one that does this too, but don't click that. It doesn't do what you think it does. Just trust me on that. Now, if you want to tell me something, you can scroll down a little farther, and there's this bar that says comment in it. Now, you type something in there, and you hit send, and I read it. I get to see it. So, it's really helpful when I get comments and stuff, because, well, it encourages me to make videos, and it gives me consider con English is my native language. I may not sound like it all the time, but it is my native language. Criticism is very helpful to me to help me build my channel. And the other button that you can click is the subscribe button. Now, if you like this video and other videos, you want to see other videos like it, you can click that button and it will subscribe you to my channel and that will notify you whenever I publish a new video. Now, this is really helpful because I like publishing videos and if you like watching them, well, there you go. Click that button and you'll know when my next video comes out. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Uh, tell your friends. I would love more subscribers and it never hurts to tell your friends so they can subscribe. Maybe they'll going into cubing too. Maybe there will be more people cubing today, hopefully, after watching this video. So that's really all I got to say. So remember, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Without further ado, let's fade to black.